Although media networks and news sources across the world refer to Beijing's hazy orange skies as a sandstorm, it was actually a dust storm, which poses a greater public health danger. According to the conversation, while sand and dust both seem like tiny insignificant and harmless particles, there is actually a crucial difference when it comes down to size. Sand particles have a diameter larger than 0.06 millimeters. They feel scratchy to the touch, like when they rub in between your toes after a day at the beach. Dust particles, however, are much smaller and feel smooth to the touch. Their small size and weight means that they can be suspended in the air for long periods of time and spread out over distances of hundreds of kilometers. This means the dust particles now hovering over Beijing could potentially spread across greater areas of the world. Moreover, particles smaller than 10 micrometers can enter deep into the human lungs and pose a health risk. The site notes, dust storms are not a new natural event. In fact, they have occurred for the last 2.6 million years since the first ice age. The advancing of retreating movement of ice sheets generated huge volumes of dust, which formed the Chinese lowest plateau, an area of dust larger than France and 350 meters thick. Now this mineral-rich and agriculturally fertile area is being eroded, kicking up large amounts of dust in the process. The cause of the recent dust storms may be due to several factors. Throughout China's last 2,000 years of dynastic regimes, dust storms coincided with periods of stronger monsoon circulation, where more rainfall increased agricultural activity and contributed to population growth. In other regions, such as the Sahara Desert, dust storms are mostly naturally occurring. Despite causing landscape erosion and posing health risks, however, dust storms play a crucial role as a fertilizer, transporting mineral nutrients to the oceans to feed phytoplankton and phosphorus to fertilize the Amazon rainforest. 